Hello, lovelies. <clears throat> it is I. Actually, <clears throat> I think I'm on time. <laughs> uh, let me see if I'm here live in the group. Do, 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 do. All right. And it's happening. Hi, ladies. I know it's been a few days since we've joined together to do some energy work. So I know we're all ready to receive an abundance alignment and a poverty, struggle, and suffering energetic disconnect. So we're running two separate, um, one is a sacred soul alignment, so we're doing an alignment, which is actually a disconnect, and then we are doing an empowerment, we are, where we are plugging in. So we're going to do the poverty disconnect first. The uh, sacred soul alignment that we're running today is the poverty struggle and suffering energetic disconnect hello Allison so this alignment uh, clears oaths vows contracts uh, soul contracts karmic obligations agreements of poverty agreements of debt and yes we have made those agreements um, before we even came in to this lifetime because many of us wanted that experience but here's the thing even though we may have wanted that experience, um, the end result of that may not really be working out in our favor. And it may be something that we've decided, hey, I don't really want that anymore. And the thing is, just because we've made that karmic agreement, because we've made that soul contract, it doesn't mean that we have to stay in that energy. We as free will beings with free will choice get to disconnect from that if we so desire. So focus on right now where you are maybe in a cyclical pattern of something in your life that um, is revolving around debt, is revolving around poverty, self-denial, um, maybe even punishment in some way. And this is exactly what energy we are going to clear today. Hi, Sarah Denise. Um, so also we have made contracts of suffering. Sometimes we have <clears throat> adopted certain beliefs about in order to be closer to God, in order to be um, moving on a path or a trajectory, trajectory, trajectory towards more abundance and alignment with more prosperity, that something has to suffer, something has to be conceded, something has to be sacrificed in order to have that. Um, where we've agreed to struggle, have sickness, because that somehow makes us closer to God or closer to our divinity, whatever that means for you. This is a disconnect from that. So if you are tapping in right now in this moment to any energy that you're holding on to that is in alignment with that, let's make the conscious connection with clearing that today. Let's create an intention to let that go finally. It may have served us very well so far because it did serve up the lesson that we asked to receive when we came here. Hey, Olivia. But it simply isn't working out anymore. And we can negate, we can nullify, we can break those contracts. Uh, this also brings in the knowledge and understanding of learning and growing. And that being close to God means that, or being closer to your divinity, being a part of the divine creative matrix, doesn't always have to mean that you must suffer. Or that there needs to uh, be this uh, energetic pattern of recreating these experiences in your life also. Because even though we disconnect from certain soul contracts and agreements, it doesn't mean that we won't enter into the energy of recreating them. So this also goes a little bit further and clears that. So we're starting off with that because energetically we want to make some room for the abundantia empowerment to come in. And what this is, it's actually a ray of energy. So this is a very high frequency transmission that comes in the form of a ray. And if you don't know about cosmic rays of energy, it's like... Um, for lack of a better explanation, like a lightning bolt or a blockchain of information that gets downloaded with a ray. It's like a column of energy coming in and delivering a whole bunch of information at once. So when we work with these kind of cosmic rays, like we are working on today with the Abundantia cosmic ray, it really is this, what we're downloading with this is the understanding that while we are here fulfilling our life's mission, fulfilling um, 
what we wanted to come and do as part of our soul's path here in this lifetime, that we may need material support. Hi, Carolyn. Um, the spirit world is very, very happy to contribute to this support. And we forget that we must, you know, if we want to create the intention, if we have the desire to create more wealth, abundance, prosperity in our lives, we must ask for it, okay? We sometimes feel when we get caught up of those feelings of self-denial or poverty or poverty or even punishment that we don't have the right to ask for wealth. We don't, we don't feel worthy enough to go ahead and create that desire to have more wealth, to have all the material support that we need here in this lifetime to fulfill our life's mission. But if we ask, we receive. It may not always come in the form that we think it will, but we will receive the abundance that we need. We will receive the material support. And you can create very clear intentions about, I'm creating this. I would like a certain amount of support, um, help with getting my kids you know, to their team sports on time um, so that I can have more me time in the evenings to work on a class I'm trying to take. Um, I would like more money to come in so that I can support myself in my own personal growth and transformation. So however that comes in, universe, be great, but I'm looking for a means to achieve this end. Don't focus on the how so much and don't try to needle the universe and micromanage its way of delivering that abundance to you, but simply ask. Ask for material support to help you do what you want to do at this time. And so if you don't know who Abundantia is, hi Megan, Megan's here too, yay. Abundantia is a very powerful and nurturing goddess and I love to connect with her uh, when there is a full moon. But you don't always have to wait for a full moon to connect with her. She can really help you become a very gracious receiver also. Some of us are very good at asking, but then we're not very good at receiving. We're not necessarily very good at understanding that we deserve what we're calling forth and then allowing ourselves to receive that abundance. Sometimes we unconsciously block it based on beliefs that we're holding about worthiness and deservingness, things that may even be adopted beliefs, things that we inherited into our belief system but aren't necessarily ours. Um, she can really give you the confidence to follow your dreams and your aspirations. So as we are about to move into March and we're gonna be working on merging with the Divine Masculine, which is very much about, instead of receiving, about acting, about acting in a divine way, in an inspired way towards our goals. Because it's one thing to create the intention and allow the space to receive, but as co-creators of our experience, we must take some form of action that is in alignment with that which we are trying to call forth, yes? So next month is gonna be good because we're gonna be working on that a lot. But here is where we kind of bridge that gap because working with Abundantia, she kind of gives you that little push. She is very good about opening ways of seeing or knowing that allow you to take inspired action on your goals, your desires. She's a really beautiful goddess of success, of prosperity, abundance, and good fortune. Um, she's very similar to Fortuna, and a lot of people kind of overlap uh, Abundantia and Fortuna, but I see them as very different uh, goddesses, actually. She is also a protector of savings, investments, and wealth. So some of us, when we think about wealth, we think about immediate wealth. Like, this is the, the means that I need to reach this end right now. But it's also very important to have investments in things, things that will be a payoff long term, things that will keep providing uh, a means of, of income further down the line, right? We don't always think about that. We think about, I need this now, I need this now, I need this now. Um, but when I am trying to create more savings in my life, and this is a big thing I'm trying to work on for me, um, I will work with Abundantia uh, because she really opens up certain passageways of seeing and knowing um, of ways that you hadn't thought about maybe collecting wealth and saving it before. Let's put it that way. So let's get started. Now that you've had the intro to what we're bringing in today, get yourselves comfy. As far as these uh, go, 
they're very, it's short. This is a short um, empowerment and clearing to bring in. So get yourselves comfortable. Hopefully you can hear me. And I shared in the um, comments or in one of the threads what this is that we're listening to. So I'm sharing it again here because I really like it. Attract abundance of money, prosperity, luck, and wealth through the Jupiter's spin. It's a frequency. It's binaural beats. Um, and it induces a theta state, which is great as we go into this meditation. Jupiter's spin frequency, which I hadn't heard of before. So it's really interesting. And you can go onto their page on YouTube and download this and keep it because there's a bunch of affirmations that go along with this as well. Hi, Sarah. So get yourselves comfy. You're just in time, lady. And let's go ahead and tune out all distraction in the brain, any of the mind chatter that's going on. It's kind of incessant for a lot of us lately. Bringing in a lot of unwanted energy that's really interfering with some of the the higher frequencies that we're bringing in here. So let's just go ahead and call back all parts and pieces of ourselves anywhere we're in another time, in another place, anywhere we're in another frequency. <laughs> let's go ahead and connect in with the heart. And as you breathe in and out, gently, easily, and calmly, allow yourself to go further inward into the physical body and really connect with all parts of the physical body. Connect with the breath. Feeling the rise and fall in the chest as you breathe in and out. And create the intention right now to connect with the highest aspect of your higher self here, right now. And take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let everything go that is distracting you, that is taking your attention away from this now moment, the only moment, the moment of pure creation. We are creating a space here to bring in the highest frequency energies of abundance, prosperity, good fortune. bringing our desires into form on the physical 3D plane and doing it in the highest and best way for all present. And take another deep breath in and really connect with your heart space. And I want you to imagine, as you take your next deep breath in, pulling in shimmering golden light. And as you breathe this in, imagine it spreading throughout your whole inner being like liquid light, going to all parts of your physical being, filling you up inside. And feeling that shift in your vibration as you do so. This is the golden light of love and support that surrounds you always. You can connect with this anytime you wish by simply intending to breathe it in and allowing it to fill you up. And now allowing this energy to pool into the heart space and creating a shimmering ball of golden light in the heart. And now imagine a singular column of this golden energy extending downward through the body, out through the soles of the feet, going through all the layers of the earth, through dirt and rock and crystal, and extending down, down, flowing down, drifting down, traveling down to the very center, the crystalline core of Mother Earth, and connecting with the infinite abundance, wisdom, and knowledge that billions of years of the earth holds here. And
And as you connect, you see a golden grid beginning to form, spreading outwards in all directions, creating an energetic connection with all that is. And now following that golden column of energy all the way back up through the soles of the feet and back into the heart space. And now a second golden column of energy emerges from the top of this golden sphere of energy in your heart space and extends upward through the chest and lungs, through the throat, through the face, up and out of the crown, extending upward going up and anchoring into the heart of the highest aspect of your higher self and continuing to float up, drift up, and travel up, 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 all the way up through time, space, and dimensions until you cannot imagine this golden column of energy going up any further. And as it reaches that space, it connects and anchors into the divine creative matrix of all that is this golden matrix energetically connected to all and everything. And feel that shift in your vibration now as you are connected above and below. Creator of all that is, it is commanded to activate the sacred soul alignment poverty, struggle, and suffering, energetic disconnect now. Thank you. And as you allow this energy to simply move through and shift and make changes in your energy, having its own intelligence in doing so, create that intention that everything that is aligned with lack, poverty, self-denial, struggle, suffering, sickness, sacrifice, be cleansed and cleared now. Any and all soul contracts or karmic agreements made in this lifetime, before this lifetime, or any other lifetime before that they be negated, nullified, broken. Anywhere that is, that these karmic contracts are aligned with lack, suffering, or sacrifice, and they are simply no longer serving you in this lifetime, that these karmic contracts, through your own free will choice, be negated and nullified now. And so it is, Creator Church. Letting go of any tethers or attachments, hooks or cords in your energy that have been aligned with contracts of self-denial, punishment, self-sacrifice in any way, shape or form as it affects the DNA and the cellular programming, the mental patterns, neural pathways, nerve connections in the body, those all being negated and nullified here and now as well. Creator changes and so it is. Some of you may be feeling a little bit of tightness or tension in the neck, the upper back and shoulders. This is past belief systems, behavioral programming and patterning based on these soul and karmic contracts of self-denial. Moving out of your energy will feel them on a physical level as they are ushered out. This is normal. Now, if this is happening for you, just go ahead and use your breath as your vehicle for intention to set the last energetic debris, the spiritual debris of that, to set that free. And imagine that energy dissolving, dissipating.
seeing a lot of root chakra energy where this is affecting your root chakra, so go ahead and just take a deep breath and sending it also into the sacral region, so just below the belly button. And then sending it downward, using the breath once again as your vehicle for intention. Take a deep breath in, starting from just below the navel, pushing this energy down through the sacral and the root chakra, sending it through the legs and out through the soles of the feet. Sending it down into your earth star chakra and asking that Gaia help you to transmute and cleanse these energies here. Anywhere these contracts have, effect, have affected your sense of security, safety, being at home in your body or on this planet, let those energies be transmuted in the highest and best way for you right now, and so it is creator. While this energy continues to calibrate you, move these lower frequency energies through and out of your physical being and all your energetic sheaths. Let's go ahead and activate the Abundantia Empowerment Ray. Creator, activate that now. Thank you. may be receiving glimpses here, snapshots of what it looks like to be in divine purpose, in divine alignment with your soul's mission and path here at this time. Simply allow these, these snapshots, it might look like a montage to some of you, just allow it to come into your mind. If it is not visual, allow a knowing to settle into your physical body asking that this be translated into all of the receptors of the body so that you may have a better idea of what it is that you are here to do. And simply ask now in this space, as we create this space by bringing up the frequency for all present, create the intention that all the material support that you need to fulfill this soul's mission and path show up for you in the highest and best way for all. Allowing you to align with everything that you need in order to fulfill your soul's mission and path and purpose at this time. And some of you may be having a glimpse of like a cornucopia, which is definitely one of the attributes of Abundantia. You may see flowers or vines growing here, uh, trellises of maybe even jasmine. I'm seeing jasmine for some of you, which is really beautiful. This jasmine is such a high frequency um, energy. It holds a high frequency energy of pure love, forgiveness, mercy, and compassion. And some of us are needing to bring this in for ourselves right now. So I'm not surprised to be seeing it here. Some of us need to forgive ourselves for being in a place where we felt we needed to be in lack, needed to sacrifice, needed to suffer in order to be closer to God or closer to our, to our divinity in some way. But this is a false belief and this has been this is being renegotiated on your behalf at this time. So allowing yourself to forgive yourself and have the highest form of compassion for yourself for allowing that alignment to take hold, that alignment with lack, that alignment with scarcity. But it is simply no longer part of your story and you are releasing it here at this time. And take a deep breath in and making sure that this ray, this cosmic ray, is reaching all parts of your being. Check into your body and see where you may be unconsciously blocking this. 
Do you feel any numbness or tingling in your body? This is a sign or a cue that you may be blocking this energy coming in. Simply take a deep breath in and pull that cosmic ray, that abundantia empowerment ray into those areas of the body now. You may even be feeling it if you are more tuned in to your energetic sheaths around the physical body. You may have some knowledge of where you're blocking it there in your auric field, your astral field. And simply breathe in, drawing it in, and sending all parts of this cosmic ray to all parts of you on the physical, the mental, the emotional, and spiritual level. Carry your change out. And you may be feeling this gentle uplifting here, almost like you're floating, you're being held and supported. It's almost cocoon-like. And in truth it is, because we are like a chrysalis here, ready to emerge and become the butterflies. I'm seeing lots of very, very bright white light speckled with lots of silver white light and golden white light as part of this Abundantia cosmic ray. It's just a really beautiful and expansive energy to sit with, so let's just sit with it for a moment longer. seeing a lot of you as being um, in a womb, like you're about to be birthed anew. That's a very powerful vision. Mm. And so now begin to gently Pull your energy back down from where you are anchored in above to the, the divine creative matrix and begin to pull this golden column of energy back down through the top of the head, through the face, the throat, the chest, and back into the heart space. And then follow that second golden column of energy all the way down through the body, through all the layers of the earth, and back into the crystalline core of Gaia. And let's ask Gaia to cleanse or transmute any lingering negative energies here that need to be released at this time, as it is aligned with our highest and best good. Thank you, Gaia. And now bring this pristine energy all the way back up, taking this golden column of energy and bringing it back up into the heart space and simply allowing this beautiful golden sphere of light to turn into a single golden pinpoint of light right in the middle of your chest center. And then simply blink, blink out of existence. Thanking this energy, thanking Abundantia, thanking Creator, thanking Gaia. And when you are ready, simply take a deep breath in and open your eyes. How does everyone feel? <laughs> Allison says, I thought that was familiar. I downloaded it yesterday. Do you mean this um, Attract Abundance track that we're listening to on YouTube? I really like it. I really like it a lot. I got to do some more research on the Jupiter spin frequency because I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, cool, Allison. That's really awesome. Um, 
Yeah, if anyone knows more about the Jupiter spin frequency, please share it here in the group because I would like to know. <clears throat> so what came up for you? I saw a lot of really, really um, interesting imagery for you. Felt a lot of shifting. Saw a hummingbird fly up to me. Oh, beautiful. I love the hummingbirds. I love them, love them, love them. When I lived um, down in the Bay Area, I had a lot of uh, plants that I put in my garden that would attract butterflies and hummingbirds. And I loved seeing them in my backyard. They're so beautiful. There was a male and a female that used to come and, and hang out back there. It's a nice place to meditate, needless to say. Did anyone see any interesting imagery that they would like to share? Or did any messages come in for you? Any, um, I was seeing a lot of, uh, it was like movie montages for a few of you in the group, um, especially for Allison and Megan. Um, it was like flashes of insight and it was like repeating on like a spectrum, it would go through a spectrum and then it would go back to the beginning and repeat again. And that was really interesting to see for you. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see something, Allison? And if you don't want to share it, that's okay. But I saw some, and it was all very positive. It was all very positive. It was just like a, <sighs> what's the best way to describe it? It was like a progression, seeing things on a spectrum and seeing it as a progression. But it was very, very beautiful, very expansive. It held a lot of very high frequency energy in it because it was difficult to focus, which is not normal for me. And yeah, um, it was a non-focused thing because it kept going through like... <sighs> Have you ever held up a piece of like uh, projector film and then you look at like the reel and you can see all the different frames? That's how it looked, but it was in like full color. It wasn't in like black and white or anyth anything. Like, it was just weird. <laughs> but it was really cool. It was really cool. Megan says her body is feeling really warm now. I didn't see any pictures. That's okay. I saw them for you, and they were all positive. Um, same thing with Allison as it was for you, Megan. It was just like this kind of seeing things in like a... I don't, I don't really have the language to describe it, but it was like a montage of different images and then it would go through a cycle and then it would start from the beginning and repeat again. I kept doing that. Third grade school photo. <laughs> oh, that might be an interesting thing to dig into. Sarah says, I felt this was related to what I brought up earlier with the abundance stick. As the soul alignments came through, I stated to remove my blocks permanently to help me find resources I need and manage my time and not be afraid to move forward in my biz. Beautiful. That is a be that's exactly the kind of intention that I'm talking about. Like having that clarity, but not trying to micromanage how the universe shows up to help you with that. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the way Sarah wrote it down here. That's perfect. We want to be very cl crystal clear. We want to telegraph our intentions, our desires to the universe very clearly. And then we let it go, right? That doesn't mean that when we are shown certain things that, hey, you might, might want to move forward in this way or take inspired action on this or that. Did anybody see that thing just there right now? We have visitors here today. Anyway, um, we still need to take inspired action, but we want to surrender the how, okay? Um, lovely, 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 lovely. So I really enjoyed sharing that with you. And this is one of those things that you can run anytime you want. And because it is such a divine and very high frequency connection, why wouldn't you want to run this all the time, right? And it's a reminder that we are connected to all the abundance in the universe at all times. Anything else that takes us out of that alignment is aligned with ego, it's aligned with fear, it's aligned with pain and sorrow, and all those very low frequency emotions that don't have anything to do with abundance, right? Megan says, I realized and released some repeating patterns yesterday. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, ladies, I'm so excited I got to share that with you because I really love the way that feels. Um, we will be doing our next alignment, which is another favorite, on Saturday. You can have it all. Um, 
and I think that there's something else in that one as well. I can't remember. Let's see, what is it? Oh, and the gold and silver attunement. Yay! Which is really aligning with um, material money. It's aligning with not only abundance, but specifically the energy of gold and silver, which is the energy of currency. It's the energy of exchanging of wealth. So I love that one. And then the you can have it all sacred soul alignment. Fun. Um, yes. So I will be seeing you on Saturday. I'll be popping in here. I want to share some stuff with you. Um, I think tomorrow I have a couple different, um, coaching experiences that I want to share with you guys. I think it'd be really, really helpful for you around money and abundance. So I, I might pop in tomorrow late afternoon and share that with you, or it might be Friday night. We'll see. Cause I'm putting together finishing touches on sending earth Reiki, which I'm really, really excited to start on Monday. Um, okay, ladies, I want to wish you so much love and light. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> bye bye.